Hey everybody, okay. I'm coming on here real quick to give you a quick keto tip. While I'm doing laundry, if you watched my video this morning, you would be so proud of me because the laundry is almost done. I bribed one of my daughters with a little bit of, to sort it, and now I'm helping, we're all helping put it away, right, Amelia? No. And so the tip that I have for you and a question that I've gotten literally 17 times today, not yet. Seven, the tip that I have for you while I'm doing laundry that I got 17 times today. You want to see my daughters real quick? I should show you something because this is so funny. Ignore the rest of the room. We haven't made it there yet. Oh my goodness. Um, we're in a Moana phase. We're in a Moana. So, okay, enough of that. Okay. Okay, I'm giving one tip. One tip. The tip is this. A lot of people have been asking, and this is a serious tip. A lot of people have been asking, how do I bypass the keto flu? Why do I have leg cramps? What can I do to not feel yucky? I have a headache. All of those things, right? That revolves around the keto flu. Send help. No, we're awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs because I feel like I can't focus and I already started this. Sorry. I am doing laundry. My husband has been gone for five days. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. If you're going through the keto flu or if you have cramps, the other night I woke up and I had cramps in my legs, ridiculous cramps in my legs. And this is, ha this is what happens when I travel. Or my husband's not home. I don't drink enough water and that's it. So when you're in ketosis, whether it's strict keto diet, whether you're doing the strict keto diet or even taking the product, you need to drink a lot of water. That's number one, because your body's flushing out sodium, magnesium, potassium, electrolytes. You need to stay hydrated. You have, please be respectful. I know you're being silly. We already showed them your outfit. Okay, you have to drink water water and more water number two there's a couple ways you can do it if you're doing the strict keto diet and you you don't need any food we just ate um no so they followed me does anybody else have kids that follow them everywhere they go bathroom closet Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they're always there, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I do love it. Okay. This is, you want to know something behind the scenes of when I do a video? Watch. Watch this. Watch this. Quiet on set. It didn't work. When I have to make a video, like a serious video, I go, quiet on set. And they know they better be quiet. I'm in big trouble. No, for real. I'm giving one tip. Okay. One, two, three. Quiet on set. Okay, if you're doing the super strict ketogenic diet without, without the product, okay, you're gonna need some potassium, you're gonna need some magnesium, you're gonna need some electrolytes. Gatorade doesn't count, I'm sorry, especially the stuff that has a lot of sugar in it. So what does that look like? You could, you could make your own with some Himalayan salt, I'll show you. You could do, you could do some Himalayan, oh, I can't see it, it's super bright. You can do some Himalayan salt with some lemon. That will help you. Drink a lot of water. There are lots of electrolytes out there that you can purchase. We, there's pill forms, there's just little droppers. Some of them taste really, really yucky. Um, we drink something called Calm. Hey, can you grab the Calm out of there for me? Magnesium before bed. So the other night I felt my legs cramping when I was watching a movie with the girls. So I came upstairs and grabbed some magnesium and a whole lot of water, like a ton. Um, and I was fine. And so this is what I get off Amazon. Or I actually get it at a local grocery store as well. And it's just, so this is super helpful. And I just sometimes give this to my kids because it actually helps with sleep as actually. well. Actually. So if you're doing the strict keto diet, magnesium, potassium, water, Himalayan salt, lemon, this helps. Yeah, or the kids have their own little kids calm. Why do they take it? Just because my kids eat low carb as well and it's just good for you and helps them sleep. Go put that away. Okay, so otherwise you can just do some Himalayan salt. Like if you get a headache, you need water. 
If you get a headache, add some Himalayan salt to your water, to your food. Um, sometimes if I get super cramped in the middle of the night, I literally will go like this. I know it's so gross or drink some pickle juice. Pickle juice is great. And so all of those things, as far as the keto flu goes, a headache, leg cramps, it's water and electrolytes. Now, a lot of people go, well, how do I get past the keto flu? You have to either, if you're doing all food based, which is fine, you have to just go through it. Like you're gonna have to figure it out till your body adapts. I drink this, so I really don't ever go through the keto flu ever. Um, I get cramps in my legs if I don't drink enough water, or like if I if you're really 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 low carb and the product, then you have to grab some electrolytes. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you want to know more about this, just message me and I'll let you know. I call it my mom fuel. I obviously need some more to make it through the rest of my night, but or share what works for you. Somebody said mineral water. Oh, is mineral water okay? Yeah, my husband drinks sparkling water. He loves it. I don't like it, and I have heard controversial like some people say that mineral water or sparkling water is not good for your gut um, I'm not an expert in that specific sparkling water expertise but my husband loves it he drinks it my kids love sparkling LaCroix water so sometimes they drink that we actually blend that with berries so that's like our sherbet my kids will drink sparkling LaCroix water with uh, this we love the coconut one and so yes as far as I know and the best that I can tell you yes um, somebody that talked just on here about high blood pressure, high cholesterol and sodium. I'm, I'm not a doctor, so I can't give you medical advice, but I will tell you this, go buy the book, the ketogenic Bible. And, uh, it's by Dr. Ryan Lowry, Dr. Jacob Wilson. And in that book, they talk about cholesterol. They talk about blood pressure. They, it's from the doctors and from the experts. So I'm going to have to tell you to do that or go look up Dr. David Diamond. So in May, I went to an event and it was, there was tons of experts in the ketone space. And that was one of the main topics people asked about was cholesterol and blood pressure. I, I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you, go look up Dr. David Diamond, go, go get the book, the key drink Bible, and that will help you as well. Um, I can't read your handwriting. And then, um, I think that's it. So if you want to know, Heart, yeah, heart chart's great. If you want to know more about this, just post a five or ten below. I mail these. I mail these out every day. Actually, I mail a variety of the flavors. That's my. It's my mom fuel. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do videos just on that. I never want to be like lots of flavors. Actually, my favorite one is this one. One second, Annie. So if you want to try a variety of the flavors, post a five or ten below. I'll just send you a video to watch and more information, and you can ask me some questions. Otherwise, drink your water. Grab some electrolytes, add Himalayan salt to your food, drink some pickle juice, do whatever you need, but drink your water. Because if you don't, you may wake up in the middle of the night like I do and start screaming and crying because your legs are cramped and the cramps won't come out. And then you have to walk around the bedroom at three o'clock in the morning and then drink some pickle juice or salt. What? Um, my daughter's trying to message me something. So I hope you guys all have a great night. I appreciate you all. I got to go finish my laundry. It's almost done. Somebody on here said they love to do laundry. I should just have you come over to my house and live with me. Okay. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great night and we'll talk to you soon.